So Cutting Horse Training Online has come to the Extreme Mustang Makeover tonight, the final, uh, to check out some great horsemanship and reserve champion was Taryn Munch, who has actually taken this out before. Tonight, I'm sure you were a crowd favourite by by far, really. Um, congratulations, and how did it feel tonight about your, your performance? What did you think? I was really happy, I was really proud. I really like that horse. He's one of the most trainable horses I've ever ridden and uh, he gave me everything he had out there and I couldn't be happy. I'm, man, I'm as proud as I could be. So explain the Mustang makeover. You get to choose a horse, you buy it at an auction. Just explain the process, how it works and how long you get to train on it. Okay, so this year, every year is a little bit different. This year they, they came up with a pool of about 200 horses and you went, they had a video preview of them. They had you about five seconds in a bucking chute so you could tell how tall they were and then they gave you about a 15 second clip of them trotting around in a little pin so you could see them move. And I don't remember dates, but sometime in March they had the, uh, the auction and uh, I ended up buying this one and one other one. Um, they let you buy two and on June 13th you had, to, you had to pick which one you were going to show and you could reassign the other one to, uh, to another home. Uh, so I reassigned the other one to Clark Cupkey and I kept this one. So we have had 120 days to work with them and then we come here in Fort Worth to compete for I think they said it was $130,000 worth of prize money. So tell us how, how is training a Mustang different to say a cutting horse? Well, it's all, I, a horse is a horse. I think it's all the same. I, you, you train with uh, positive reinforcement and lots of lots of work. I mean you, it, it's I don't know which one's harder. They're both hard and lots of work both ways. So the fact that they're wild, you don't have to spend longer establishing trust or anything like that? Uh, that's probably the, the longest process is getting them where you can easily catch them and saddle them and ride them. For me, once I get them where I can easily catch them and saddle them and ride them, I ride them 20 or 30 minutes a day. The only thing I do different for, for this show is I might ride them twice a day all through the summer shorter rides but but more more frequently because whenever you get here you have to show them two or three times a day and that's quite a bit of pressure on a horse that's only been out of the wild for a hundred days really? so i just try to teach him to accept all kinds of pressure he's probably not talented enough to be a big time superstar cutting horse but a great using horse, a turn back horse, a ranch horse, a family horse, he could do any of the a rope horse. An all-rounder. Just, yes ma'am, and those, honestly, those horses are more special to me than a cutting horse because you can do anything and, and uh, have fun getting a job done on them. And what's, he, what's this horse taught you in particular? Uh, just to have fun and enjoy spending time with your horses. I'm sorry. Um, it's emotional having to say goodbye? It is. And I don't know why. I've never been emotional about any horse I've ever sold until this one. Um, I don't know. This one, I looked forward to waking up every morning to go out and ride with him. Uh, he's the only horse ever that when I walk out the door of my house, he nickers at me every morning. And I don't, I mean, I don't know why. He's just something that we've had a lot of fun together. Well, he just sold for 20000 Yes, ma'am. Were you tempted to try and keep him? Uh, no, ma'am. Um, we train horses for a living and buying and selling is part of making our money. Uh, Brenda Lanning and Mark Lanning bought him and that's a great home. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the most important thing to me is that he has a good, good home for the rest of his life. That's what, that's what this is really about to me is getting the, the wild horses adopted in a forever yeah. home. So I have to ask you, how do you come up with your ideas for your performance? I've always just tried to rope and tie something down. In, in my mind, in 120 days, that's the, the coolest thing you can do or that I can do with a horse. Uh, to, to have one understand to do a job when you're 30 foot away from them is it's the, what I think is the, one of the best horses there are. <laughs> well, congratulations. It's an awesome effort. Everybody loved loved watching it, and uh, we wish you the best with everything. Well, thank you very much.